All right, so uh, this is uh, the second unboxing video that I'm doing today. And uh, early on, I've been uh, doing a video, unboxing video of the um, Asus motherboard, the M4A 79 XTD EVO. So uh, if you want to watch that one, you can go ahead and check out that one first. Now, uh, this is the second item that I bought today. As you can see, this is the power supply. Usually I do heavy research before purchasing a power supply, you know, everything pretty much computer related, especially power supply. But this one, I actually did not do any review at all. I did not check online for like, you know, reviews and ratings and that kind of stuff. The reason is because um, originally I, I, I didn't get this one. I got the Ampeg, uh the 650 watt Earth, or whatever power supply, I can't remember the name. But then I realized that um, the other Antac one is not a modular power supply. So I really want a, a modular power supply. Again, I'm building a system for my neighbor. And uh, I know it's not my PC, but I kind of do care about that. Even though it's not my PC, I want to make her system like clean and neat. So, um, you know, I really want a modular one. You know, I got a... Um, for those of you who are, not, who are wondering what kind of uh, power supply that I'm using right now, I can... I can show you guys. I'm using the OCZ 550 watt fatality version. Um, as you can see in my case right here, um, I did a um, video or I can't remember video or unboxing video a long time ago. And uh, this one is a semi modular one. I liked it a lot. It got the blue LED, sorry, red LED actually. So I liked it a lot. Um, this one though, this one is, um, I don't think it came with a LED. But it does have uh, more power support. It supports up to uh, 600 watt, um, so uh, that's a little bit more power. It also support the uh, SLI, and uh, it's also a uh, semi-modular design. So uh, this is the Mod Extreme Pro power supply, as you can see. So um, yeah, um, let's just go over the spec first. And then we're going to oh, unboxing it. So as you can see, um, the spec is actually pretty close with the, my uh, 550 watt OCZ. Um, so I'm just trying to compare it. So the total power, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but the total power is 600 watt. Okay, and uh, but the the most important part is actually the uh, 12 volt. So this one got two 12 volt rail. So uh, each rail is uh, support max output of 25 amp. That's the same as my OCZ uh, Fatality version 550 watt. So it's the same. So uh, if I think if you got um, 12, 5, sorry, uh, 25 amp on uh, each rail, on like if you got two rail, let's say you should be you should be good if you're you know trying to go with like a 55770 or something like that. So uh, shouldn't be a concern, I think. Um, if you want to go with SLI though, you might want to um, get a better one. I mean, like the if you got like a 5850 or 5870 Crossfire or the um, um, 470 or 480 SLI, you might want to go with better one. But anything lower than that, um, even if you go with SLI or uh, Crossfire, you shouldn't really have any issue with this power supply. So enough talking. Uh, let's just open it. Open it already. Okay. Um, I really don't know anything about. I don't know how quiet this one is. Usually, I'll, you know, I'll do research. I don't know. Hopefully, this one's good. Um, just because I went to the store, it was like I told the guy that um, I want a modular one. By the way, I got the other Antac, um, the Antac um, 650 Earth. Earthward uh, that I'm switching, I'm replacing um, the one I replaced. It, I actually paid like eighty-five dollar for it, I think. So I, I told the guy that I want to get a modular power supply with like um, you know within that price or less. So I don't want to pay more for that. So um, you know, recommend this one to, to me. So I thought you know, I might give it a try. So anyway. Open it and uh, let's see. Yeah. 
trade. You can see um, Mod Extreme Pro. You got the three year warranty from OCZ as well. Um, so that's nice. Um, if I apologize for the shaky camera because I'm using uh, my webcam, the Logitech C500, to record this video. So I do have, like, place it on a tripod, so I'll try to make everything, like, as steady as possible. So, okay. There you go. Try to make just a uh, tripod, make it a little bit higher, so you guys can take a better look at it. Okay, so it came with a manual first. Um, yeah, basically just different languages, like tell you like the warranty or whatever. I think installation, yeah, installation basically. So that's that. And then uh, this is actually a pretty big house. Pretty heavy one. Like the uh, Fatality version, it also came with a bag, little bag, which I thought is really nice. And I got all the cable inside. That's the modular cable. So uh, if you don't have like a lot of, uh, you don't need a lot of cable, you can just place them inside this little case, so to make your case, your cable management a lot clean and neat. Okay. Um, it, it came with a lot. I, I don't want to. I don't think I need to go over these, but these are really nice quality. Like the quality of these cables are really nice. They feel almost the same as my Fatality version, and they're sleeved, so they're really really nice. Okay, I think it got two six pin. Okay, this is a six pin. Um, the other side is actually eight pin. This is also a. Uh, this is the eight pin. So, this is the eight pin six plus two. This is a six pin, so they got two. So it's pretty nice, and uh, got a bunch of other cables. Well, yeah, they all sleeve. So really nice quality, and they got the uh, four little thumb screws. Well, okay. So uh, after that, little case, power connector, and. Whatever that is, paper and the power supply itself. Okay, so this power supply actually came with a four pin uh, motherboard connector and an eight pin. In case you need the eight pin, you can also use this one. So, yep. Um, I think it's not a LED version, as you can see the fan. I don't think it's LED version, but that's that's not a big deal. Um, as you can see, this is all the modular cable. So this is like a semi-modular power supply. So overall, just by the quality and the first look of it, I think it's a really really nice power supply. Um, so um, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this one, man. Thanks for watching my video again, as always. And until next time. Until next time, have a good day.